Hello and good afternoon. You're watching the latest news spotted only here on the listening channel Jamaica News Online TV. Details coming up after the break. This is a reaction video and this story is very disturbing. Now, we don't know why. We don't know if it's the color of these people's skin, why they had them there. If it's because they are Jamaicans, why they, they had them there. So, two Jamaican, one of two men that were exonerated for 1990s New York City murders still face deportation. So the two men who served decades in prison for separate murders in New York City were exonerated on Monday after re investigation found that they had been convicted based on unreliable witness testimony. The federal stance to compensate those who are wrongfully convicted is a minimum of $50,000 per year for incarceration. That means if it's two years, they get $100,000 plus an additional amount for each year spent if they are on debt row. Now, this guy, Wayne Gardine, 49, he was convicted of a 1994 murder and he was exonerated after being paroled last year but he was also accused of entering the united states illegally as a teenager and is now in immigration detention facing possible deportation to his native jamaica he spent 19 years in jail for something he did not do and instead of compensating this man they put him in immigration detention. Who will fight for this man's freedom in the U.S. and not Jamaica? They will be more than happy to send him back to Jamaica because this way he will not be able to sue the state and get millions of U.S. dollars. Because this man, somebody need to get this man kiss and fight for this man. Instead, they come out of prison. After 19 years for something he did not do and then put him back. He was 20 years old when he was arrested for the fatal shooting of Robert McKenz, who was shot nearly a dozen times. His conviction was vacated after the investigation from the district attorney's office and the legal aid society found that the single eyewitness who testified at trial had pinned the killing on Guardian to please his own drug boss, who was friend with the victim. So he was just doing it because maybe there was something going on between his drug boss and this guy and him just want to pin it on him. Unjust convictions are the height of injustice. And while we can never completely undo the pain he has experienced, I hope this is the first step in allowing Guardian to rebuild his life and reunite with his loved ones. District Attorney Alvin Bragg said in a statement. So what I want to send him, send him go join him family at Jamaica when him when he was living in the United States when I'm catching Guardian's attorney with the Legal Aid Society because a legal aid liar him have him don't have the money to pay no real big time liar Lou Fox said Guardian denies entering the country illegally and should be released but you see when it's a legal aid him not paying so even though that lawyer so how much is that lawyer going to fight for him. We are elated that Mr. Guardian will finally have his name cleared of this conviction that has haunted him for nearly three decades. Yet he is still not a free man and faces additional and unwarranted punishment if deported, Fox said in a statement. 
But will Fox help him? Or can Fox help him? Or will there be somebody out there who will see the case and can take it up and help this man because this man needs help? Jabbar Walker, 49, also convicted, walked free after he was cleared of a 1995 double murder. He had been serving 25 years to life for the crime. Walker, who was represented by the Innocent Project, was 20 years old when he was arrested for the shooting death of Ishmael D. Las Cruz and William Santana Guzman. The new investigation of Walker case found that police had pressured, pressured witness to incriminate Walker by implying that they would charge him with the shooting if he did not cooperate. If he did not cooperate, they were going to charge him, the witness. The witness later recanted his testimony. Money. There is corrupt police everywhere. Imagine threatening someone to give a false statement. Anyone who was threatened that he will be charged if he did not give a false statement would have done the same. He would have, anybody would give, him a, give a false statement just to stay out of jail. Another witness who said she had seen the shootings had received monetary benefits from the DA's office, which was not disclosed to Walker's defense according to the Innocent Project. Imagine someone was paid money to testify that this person was the killer. You see, we talk about corruption at Jamaica every day, people being paid off, people being forced to do things. But this is not Jamaica we're talking about. We're talking about New York. Mr. Walker received a sentence that could have kept him in prison for his entire life. District Attorney Bragg said, I am thrilled that he can now finally return home and thank the Innocent Project for its steadfast advocacy throughout this matter. Walker entered a Manhattan courthouse in handcuffs on Monday and left a free man. The New York Times reported the Walker silently mouthed, I made it when Justice Miriam R. Best vacated his conviction. Both crimes took place eight blocks apart in Harlem and both convictions were vacated after defense lawyers worked with the Manhattan DA office's conviction review unit to clear the men's name. Who will fight for these two men who were innocent yet got thrown into jail and served time? Some people are not just discriminated against, but because they are black and black in itself in some states, in some areas where you live, is a crime. Just being black, just being walking around black is a crime. And this is exactly what happened to these two men. People being paid off, people being threatened to give false statements. And Mark, you, we're not talking Jamaica because we know a lot of corruption going on there. But you can see, no matter where you go, there's always some corruption. And let's hope, say, them compensate this man and don't bother deport him back to Jamaica. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.